Hey, welcome back. Let's check out what we've got from Sunday. First, I want to say to any non-readers out there who happen to be watching the videos, if you become a reader and you always got a book nearby and handy with you, you will never be bored in your entire life. So what are you waiting for? Get with the program, yo. So let's check out what we got from Sunday. Got some books from inside the store. So these hardcovers are $4 each plus discount. And we got a Clash of Kings hardcover here. It's an unusual size. It's, a, it's like an in-between big and book club size. Or something. But it doesn't have the original price right there or anything. It's not in the greatest condition as far as the book. The, the dust jacket's nice. But this isn't a real true first edition though, so. But still, nevertheless, yeah, it doesn't even have a printing. I'm not sure what the deal with this one is exactly. It is, trust me, just a little bit smaller than what, it's, what it normally would be. But it's still got the great original cover right there. And it's probably well worth the price that I paid for it for sure. And we got the early Asimov. I haven't seen this particular edition, this hardcover edition of the early Asimov. I think I come across this in paperback quite often. This is a book club edition, which isn't surprising. I think most sci-fi hardcovers are book club editions, seems to be. Yeah, I think um, they normally have this in three volumes in paperback. So yeah, there we go. Pretty decent condition too. A four dollar book. Now this is a paperback, so this was two dollars plus discount. But it's Chapter House Dune, book six, oversized paperback, really nice condition, as far as I could tell. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh well, damn Vicky. <laughs> That's okay. No big deal. Still really good deal for two bucks. And another hardcover here, four dollars. Plus discount, Chapter House Dune, same book. True first edition though, so awesome deal. And let's just uh, double check, if first printing. Really, really cool, pretty nice condition overall. Yeah, the spine of the dust jacket looks really nice there. And we got a Stephen King book, one of his more recent titles, one of his more recent novels, Billy Summers. I heard this is good. I don't not know for sure, but it was unstickered, so for four bucks, really awesome deal. You know, when was this uh, yeah, there's the $30 original price? When was this published? Okay, so yeah, just two years ago. Quite new, in good condition. And for one dollar, because of the shape, you got the uh, swir the wavy shape of the book, which happens with a lot of these oversized paperbacks, especially this quality. Um, this is the X-Men volume eight. I used to collect these like 20 years ago, and I still look out for them once in a while. For, so for a buck, this is an awesome deal, and I haven't had I haven't had number eight before, but what the deal is with these volumes is you start with one and it starts with the, so you don't have to buy all the really, really expensive old comics. You could get them in black and white if you just want to read the stories. And back in the 60s and 70s, they were in early 70s, they were, they were okay. They were a little cheesy, you know, as far as their stabs at humor and stuff like that. But Marvel got a lot better in the 80s 70s was pretty late 70s was pretty good too so let's see which and these are other covers of other volumes like this and so this contains issues number let's find out here oh yeah so you got 229 through 234 right there and then there's an x-men annual number 12 which is obviously a, a yearly issue they came out with they're always a lot 
um, have more a lot more pages than a typical issue, and they spend a little more time on them. Let's see, so 234 and then 235 through. And then, okay, then we have X Factor number 36, 37. Then issues 242, X Factor 38. Two foot, um, un uncanny X number, okay, yeah, number 243, and then X Factor number 39. So those are all the issues that are contained within this one volume. So pretty cool stuff right there. And yeah, you just get them all and you got the full, complete series, library, whatever you want to call it, of whatever particular comic books you want to read, like X-Men, Avengers, Fantastic Four, Ghost Rider, Silver Surfer, you name it. They got them all pretty much and so we also got a whole bunch of books here now this was one bags worth we'll go through them we'll try to go through them kind of quickly so five dollars plus discount so three dollars pretty much for all these books here so there's going to be a lot of random stuff in there i picked out a lot of stuff in um with uh reselling in mind so a, f a few things probably for myself but not too many so we got Animal Farm by George Orwell. It's actually a fairly nice copy. So pretty good deal there. Signet edition. A children's book right here called 15 Rabbits by the author of Bambi. Not too familiar with this, but I got passed that off to one of my nephews or nieces, maybe. Or my one of my nephews who has rabbits or has a rabbit. The Method of Zen condition how to meditate I've come across this book quite a bunch uh, quite a few times the ancient art of color therapy I've come across this a few times and we've got Alan Watts books so I'll put this aside for myself put it with the other Alan Watts titles I have this is it this is an old uh well this is it yeah this is it right here no, I'm showing you. anyway I think this is an old edition so it's probably kind of cool LSD and Satori, Beats and Square Zen, and Zen. Cosmic Conscious. Yeah, you get the idea. So we got Faulkner. So that's pretty awesome to find that in the bag sale. Light in August, William Faulkner. So anything that I find that's really good in the bag sale makes it almost that much better, you know, being that it was so cheap for the bag sale. Ken Follett's The Man from St. Petersburg. Pretty okay condition. Dean Koontz, Darkfall, decent condition. Committee of Vigilance, this is by George R. Stewart. Have not read this before, but it's the, about the revolution in San Francisco. In San Francisco, 1851, should be interesting, good author. Shakespeare, Signet, classic, uh, King Lear. I like these editions with this really cool abstract art on the front. A book on Jackie O. Now this will go with other John F. Kennedy related books and make for a nice listing that way. So the more the better for a listing, especially with, uh, it's getting a little tougher for uh, sellers, booksellers on eBay. The, their percentages, this is a book about Betty Davis. Their percentages were already really high, and now U.S. Uh, media mail, post uh, post offices media mail rates went up twice this year, so that's not good. Makes it harder to sell and send books. Not worth. It's just not as worth it. Black Elk Speaks, so this is about Native Americans. I haven't seen that before. It looks pretty cool. Pocket Book of Great Operas. Kind of beat up but it's more about the content i think amino acids book what you need to know should be interesting for some what do we got here dahlgren oh yeah this is a random kind of a random pickup but it's a sci-fi and it's by samuel delaney a little bit of a bigger book that's what made it a little tougher uh, to, on the fence well i was on the fence about it that could theoretically be two or three smaller books, you know, as far as the size goes, filling up a bag. But it was at a point where the sale 
had been going for a long time, so I missed out on quite a bit of stuff. So, but still filled up one bag and got some good stuff here, I think. The Killer Angels, Michael Shera. I've already had this, but I've heard this is a good book from a customer who recommends a lot of books to me. So he's mentioned this a few times. I trust his opinion for sure. The Handmaid's Tale. Um, okay, condition. Jennifer Roberson book. This is uh, Omnibus One, Chronicles of the Chisuli. This is Shape Changer's Song. Cool spine right there with the, oh yeah, how the art comes all the way down. Spine right there. Anyway. And okay, I actually paid, this was an item from inside the store. $2 plus discount for Tad Williams to Green Angel Tower. So I needed this one as this is, uh, even though this is part two, this is book three of Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn. So it looks like this is part two of book three. <laughs> it's already a pretty big book. So yeah, most of Tad Williams' books, from what I've noticed, are quite sizable for sure. This was in the outdoor sale, though, surprisingly. A, a paperback of Dan Simmons' Drood in pretty nice condition. So this was probably the best pickup of the bag sale other than the Alan Watts book right there. So put that aside as well. That takes care of the pocket paperbacks. We got some, uh, a few more sci-fi magazine publishings like uh, Asimov, Science Fiction. And this is a newer one as well from, let's see. On sale until 526, but this is uh, from June 2015. And these fit in the, the bag nicely. You could also like even theoretically slide it down once the bag's full on the side. And we got, which one we got here? Fantasy and Science Fiction, May and June of 2018. There, this is well after they were bi-monthly, I think for the last 10 or 15 years or so. And we got another one here, 2018, November, December. Yeah, it's still pretty cool covers though. And we also got July and August of 2020. So fairly newer one here with no sticker on it either as far as postage, you know? So that's kind of cool. Names I don't recognize. I haven't read much of today's authors, I guess. I got a long way to go when it comes to reading. That's why I say you never be bored. I have way too much to read for one lifetime, that's for sure. That's putting it lightly too. There are dozens of authors that I want to read and I don't know if I'll ever get around to all of them. And I'll probably keep finding more and more and more and more. That's how crazy it, the world of reading is. Cliff's Notes, uh, Beowulf on Baldwin's Beowulf. Okay. And we got another Asimov's science fiction. This one is from, what's the day on this? Oh, 2015, January. And God's Chosen Fast, basically a book on fasting, but the spiritual and religious slash religious benefits or thoughts of perspectives on fasting. This could go with other fasting books. It offers a unique perspective. Whatever, anything about fasting is good, I think, and for the most part. Just as long as it's done safely and it's done correctly. You'd be surprised how easy it is to do safely, though. If you haven't fasted before, you'd be very surprised. Use both sides of your brain. Should be interesting. Pretty thin paperback there. Four selected novels of Henry James. I thought this was kind of cool. The volume looks like there's some writing in it. Oh no, that's just a cool looking graphics or in there. Um, let's see, what do we have here? The Americans, the Europeans, Daisy Miller, international episodes. So yeah, four books in one. Really nice condition too. Haven't seen any of those before by that author. Or this just the series because this is also, let's see, Grosset's Universal Library. So a different publishing company. Bruce Lee's Fighting Method, Advanced Techniques. It's pretty cool. 
We got more of the Ballantines Illustrated History of World War II. This one's on Pearl Harbor. Of course, this has got a lot of photos and you get a lot of informa good information in there. The Little Herb Encyclopedia. Pretty cool. A little thin book, but got some great content in there. The Best American Science Fiction and Fantasy 2021. Nice condition, almost like brand new, so yeah, pretty good pickup for Baghdad right there. And what do we got here? The Art and Architecture of the Indian Subcontinent. Health and History of Art. This is a really big book. I remember I was kind of teeter-tottering about on the fence on this one. I thought it looked like a pretty good quality book. I got a lot of art books piling up that I'll be able to put this with and list online sometime soon. We got a David Farland book, a Brotherhood of the Wolf, the Rune Lords, kind of was on the fence with this one too. Size matters when it comes to bag day. The smaller the better for bag day, so sometimes hardcovers you want to go, this one's in nice condition. You don't see David Farland hardcovers all too often either. Got Ernest Klein's Armada. He's the author of Ready Player One, which you're probably familiar with. At least as far as maybe the movie, I don't know. The, the book was okay. It gave me a lot of cool 80s nostalgia, you know. Not very well written or anything as far as his writing, but I've read this one actually. It's it's okay. It's not, a, not quite as good as Ready Player One, but it's actually, it's okay. It's very similar <laughs> to Ready Player One, as you might imagine. Got a couple Tony Hillerman hardcovers to end with. The Wailing Wind. It's kind of on the fence about these two, based on size, but I don't see the Tony Hillerman hardcovers nearly as often as the paperbacks, so that's kind of cool. I think I might have one or two more. I could put them together and make a nice listing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Happy reading to you. If you don't read, think about it. Start reading. I could suggest, well, you know, find, you'll you'll find what you you'll find your niche. Uh, but it's it's definitely worth finding the best stuff, you know, through recommendations rather than sifting your way through a lot of mediocre type novels or authors and stuff. And so you don't waste your time as much, and you read the best stuff sooner rather than later because more likely you're going to read the better stuff later when you finally realize, oh, this author is really awesome. This author is really awesome. It might be way too late or it might be too late. You might die before you ever find that author. So talk to whoever, me or any of your reader friends, find out who you should read and get going with it. You know, it, you'll never be bored even if you live 200 years because there's too much reading to do. And reading is just so much, so much better than any other form of entertainment once you get into it and once you get used to it and yeah there's so many benefits to it as far as mentally and as far as uh, just just so many good you know reasons to read so thank you and to those about to read i salute you